Let's take a look at what's happening weather-wise. We're going to be in for mostly clear skies this evening. It's nice out there right now. Some patchy, dense fog developing overnight. But like this morning, it's going to dissipate. Looks like nice weather tomorrow with a gradual warming trend, especially away from the bay as we finish off the work week and head into the weekend. And this dry break that we had today is just starting. We're talking about an extended break from the rain. How extended? Check out the rain chances in the forecast for next week. So forget about the rest of this week and the weekend. It's going to be dry. The next hint of a rain chance doesn't arrive until the end of next week. That is beyond the scope of the seven-day forecast. We're talking about days nine and ten of the forecast. And you see those rain chances are down in the 20% range. So that is far from a strong signal that we're going to get more rain. But at least it's another chance. It's farther down the line. We can hope that those chances will increase as we get a little farther into next week. But let's enjoy the dry weather while we're here. We're way ahead of the pace for this point in the rainy season. And it's just nice out there right now. Another look at that beautiful sunset. Temperatures are still running in the low to mid 60s. We are going to drop off as we head through the rest of tonight. An early sunset. The sun went down at 5.02 this evening now that we're into standard time. But this is also what we refer to as solar winter, which is the darkest quarter of the year. Basically, it's the six and a half weeks on either side of the winter solstice. So today's sunrise was at 6.45. Today's sunset was at 5.02. And the days just get shorter and shorter. We lose another 44 minutes of daylight between now and the winter solstice, which is on December 21st. So the darkness is just going to continue to take over. And remember, December 21st is not the shortest day of the year. It's the darkest day of the year. All days are 24 hours. At the current pace right now, we're losing just under two minutes of daylight every day. But that pace will slow down as we get closer to the winter solstice next month. Temperatures tonight won't feel very wintry. Upper 40s and low 50s on the map by early Thursday morning which is normal for this point in November. High temperatures tomorrow are going to be just slightly above average, two or three degrees above normal. Puts us into the upper 60s around the bay with high temperatures farther inland, right around 70 degrees. Let's zoom in for a closer look. Along the coast, high temperatures in the low to mid 60s. That's not bad. Upper 60s around the south end of the bay and down the peninsula with temperatures around or above 70 degrees as you go farther inland in the Santa Clara Valley. 70 degrees exactly in San Jose, but up to 72 for Morgan Hill. That'll be one of the warmer spots along with Fairfield. Also reaching 72 degrees, Pleasant Hill too, as well. Temperatures around 70 for most of the Tri-Valley, just a couple degrees cooler around the Bay. Upper 60s with temperatures warming up to the low 70s for most parts of the North Bay. Maybe a couple degrees warmer as you head farther north in Sonoma and Napa counties, up into the mid-70s there. But temperatures are going to warm up even more as we head through the end of the work week and into the weekend. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday are going to be the warmest days overall. Not much change for San Francisco and Oakland, but more of a warm-up noticeable for San Jose, up into the low to mid-70s by Saturday and Sunday. There is a cool-down in store by next week. It's a cold front comes through, but it doesn't have any moisture to work with, so all it's going to do is bring us some additional cloud cover in those cooler temperatures. Not much of a chance of even a sprinkle out of those clouds. Temperatures look nice, though, as we head through the weekend, and looks like really nice weather for Veterans Day tomorrow.